Hey guys, Mike here, and I want to show you some new straps that I recently purchased. So typically whenever I strap down a larger vehicle, especially to a flatbed trailer, I like to use straps that have a locking mechanism on there to keep it from being able to come off the D-rings or wherever you're tying down to. Even if we get slack or bouncing around, here in Colorado we have really, really bad bumpy roads. so the machines just get kind of bounced around everywhere. So I always want to make sure that I have some kind of a locking gate system so it can't come off. I like these straps because they'll actually go around typically whatever I'm strapping to. And so they're, they're locked on the machine and on the trailer. So no matter what happens, they can't come off. The hook can't come off. I actually have to, you know, have something sever the strap itself before I'll have a mechanical issue. Um, but the issue I'm running into is that I just picked up this new trailer so I can run both the talons on it and I just don't have enough room to stretch these out. So I started doing research and trying to find a solution for it and this is kind of what I found. So this is the Vulcan 2 inch lasso style strap. Okay, so what these guys do is they actually make a hoop and then they go around the tire. So they kind of sit like that, strap directly down. I liked it because the straps do have a locking gate on there, so it's not gonna come off when it's strapped here. Um, but I was a little hesitant to buy these just because I've had issues before with the straps that go over your tire. I've had issues with them actually coming off. They, they work their way off. Normally whenever we go on riding trips, it's not a, an hour or two away. It's like 12 to 24 hours away. So it's a lot of time on the trailer and a lot of time for things to go bad. Uh, so I've actually come to a, my destination and had one or two of these things somehow slip off no matter how tight I put them. So I just don't trust that system. Also, I don't like to run the E-Tracks all the way down my uh, trailer, nor do I like the individual ones. Just because this trailer, it, it's, it's used for everything. It's not just specifically for the talons. So I don't like making it so one-sided uh, to where it's so specific to the vehicles being in one spot or another. So I got these lassos and I like them because they don't take up a lot of room. It makes it to where you can tie down the talons from the side and go directly in so I'm not having to crawl in the machine, do anything like that. But again, I was a little hesitant to buy it because I like, I like my straps to actually click into the machine. I, I want it to go over a frame, over a tire, whatever it is, but I want it to click. I want it to be static. I want it to be to where it cannot come off. And my fear with this guy was that, same thing, if this thing's bouncing around, how easy is it for those to come off? So I ordered them up strictly because it had such great reviews. I mean, it has like 5,000 reviews. People swear by them. They're tying down cars, expensive uh, sports cars. Uh, a lot of side-by-side -side people use them. So I went ahead and ordered them. And so I was gonna throw a set on real quick and show you what I found. Okay, so I've got the entire thing strapped out, all four corners, nice and tight in the location the Vulcan recommends. Uh, but here's the issue. Check this out. That thing is rocking, and that's that's not good. I do have the hillbilly brake on the talons, so that would pretty much take care of that. But I don't like the fact that at every stop line, at every bump, I've got the cars kind of rocking back and forth. That's not good on the tranny, that's not good on anything. Um, so that was, that was my fear with this. And again, I'm still a little bit nervous about the fact that in my mind, somehow these could work their way up over the tire. So let's take a look at another way to run the lassos, the way I'm gonna have to do it to make this work for my application.
So rather than lassoing around the top of the tire, we went through the wheel, just making sure to avoid, you know, the tire stems or anything like that. This is going to cause an issue. But this seems to be a really good way to avoid any areas that could potentially uh, cut the strap. There's nothing sharp around it. I took the this little wear sleeve, I guess, and ran that through the wheel because in my eyes that would be, if there was a cut issue, it would be in the wheel area before it would be in the o-ring area. We're pulling from four corners inward kind of to keep the pressure forward and backwards and side to side. Uh, ideally, obviously I'd like to pull straight forward and straight back, but just with my setup it's just not practical. So, you know, whenever you're tying down machines, you know, it's, it's not always what you want. It's kind of what you can uh, safely get away with. So, and now let's give her the old uh, shake test. So unless the strap gets cut or my wheel falls off, I should be in pretty good shape. Even if it, they do come a little loose down the road, it still it can't come off of anything. Um, of course, once we, uh, I assume that the front anyway, will probably scrub out a little bit as we go down. So once I, you know, 10 miles down the road, I'll probably pull over real quick, give it a, a crank or two more, but then I think I should be good to go. Just wanted to show that if you're thinking you're gonna go around the tire and tighten down, it's probably not gonna be what you expected. Great product. I, I'm really impressed with the quality of everything. That's that's never been a concern. I've used Vulcan for quite a while, and all of their stuff that I've received has been great. I've never had any failures with anything I've ever received over the years. Uh, so I wouldn't hesitate to buy these by any means. Uh, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Please remember to subscribe, like, tell everyone you know, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.